Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to be answering question number nine, part B. This is question number nine, part B, from the specimen paper of the 9709 paper three. This is pure mathematics paper, um, and this is from the International A-Level Cambridge exam. And we have this diagram which was given to us in part A, which we need for part B as well. So I've copied it over here. It says, using the substitution u equals sine x, find the area of the shaded region bounded by the curve and the x-axis. So we've got to find this shaded region here between 0 and pi over 2 of the equation y equals sine squared 2x times cosine x between 0 and a half pi, okay, as I mentioned. So now, when we have an integration to do using a substitution, um, this is there's different ways people set it all up. I really prefer, to, or you, I like to use this particular method, which I'm going to show you. Whatever way you've learned is fine, but um, I'm just going to show you the way that I like to do it. It always works out really quite smoothly if you do this. Okay, so our objective is to find the integral of the function that we're integrating, which we'll call y, with respect to x between the limits of let's call it x1 and x2. Okay, the x1 and x2. We'll just call it like that for now. That's our objective when we are integrating something. To integrate that, that function. And here our function y is, as, as I told us, sine squared of 2x times the cosine of x. Okay. And in order for us to do this, what we can do is, when we have to use a substitution, and they gave us a substitution to use, um, then if you introduce a substitution which we called u here um, then for us to get the the same area but using this substitution we're going to find y dx du du now you'll notice that you know these two end up being the same thing because it's like you can think of it like the du's cancel out so y dx du du so all you do is if you have to if you have to use substitution like they introduce the letter u then you just write the same thing y dx then you put over du du so we have to integrate this with respect to u which means our limits have to now be in terms of u so we have u1 and u2 okay so if you apply this you'll be able to get your answer for any type of substitution it will work okay so according to this we need to know what u1 is and what u2 is okay now we know that u is equal to sine x so u1 is when x is equal to uh, let's say this is u1 this is this is the x value so u1 is when x equals pi over 2 so you have u1 is equal to sine of pi over 2 which is going to be 1 and u2 is equal to be this is going to equal sine of 0 which is equal to 0 okay so our original equation which was basically um, pi over 2 to 0 of y which is sine squared 2x times cosine x with respect to x is going to become now the integral between 1 and 0 of y now I'm going to write that at y as it is for now which is sine squared of 2x times cosine x then you multiply that by dx du okay so now we're told that u is equal to sine x. So from here we can find d, d, d u dx quite easily. D u dx as we just uh, covered, the differential of sine x is cosine x. So this can become cosine x. So therefore we can say dx du, dx du is going to be the reciprocal of cosine x, which I'm going to write it as 1 over cosine x to make it easy for us to do with. You know it's the same as secant x, but here or make life easier if we write it as one over cosine x as you'll see in a second and then we're going to so we've got y which is all of this we've got dx du which is this and then we've got to write du now before I can start integrating all of this has to be in terms of u so what we can see straight away is a cosine x will be cancelled out so we're now left with the integral between 1 and 0 now I can think of this as sine of 2x squared. All right. 
with res so I have to integrate that with respect to you again it has to be in terms of you so I can continue trying to simplify it um, what I can do is I can write the sine of 2x as 2 times sine x times cosine x as we saw from the double angle formula um, the sine of 2x is 2 sine x cosine x but that's all squared okay we still haven't quite got there yet we have to make this in terms of u um, so what I can do now this is going to become 2 squared which is 4 so we have 0 1 you're going to have 4 okay and then this is going to be times sine squared x times cosine squared x now remember u is equal to sine x so I can re rewrite this as u squared and this by, by the way du we can rewrite cosine squared x also we know that cosine squared x is 1 minus sine squared x okay so what I can do here I always like to write the constants outside so I'll put 4 outside and um, I still haven't integrated so I've still got between 1 and 0 so sine squared x is going to be u squared and cosine squared x is going to be 1 minus u squared okay and that's now integrated with respect to u and this is something that's easy for us to integrate. Uh, let's expand it first. We have u squared minus u to the power of 4. All of that integrated with respect to u. Now when I work out this, it will give me my answer. So when I, I can now integrate, so I'm going to put my square brackets. This is going to be adding 1 to the power, dividing by the new power. This is going to be adding 1 to the power, dividing by the new power. And I have my limits. 1 and 0 so I have 4 times and this is going to be 1 third minus 1 fifth and when I put 0 in there they're going to become 0 okay so that's fine so it's 4 times 1 third minus 1 fifth which is 4 times this is going to give me 15 and then that's 5 minus 3 so you end up with 4 times 2 over 15 which is 8 over 15 square units so there's the answer that's the area okay which is shaded okay 8 over 15 square units and that's our answer all right so as you can see we use identities to get to the answer and um you know um basically we had to if you just follow this little step here this this thing is really important for us to understand with substitution this is how I like to do it okay just basically rewrite this in this form whatever y is write it down whatever dx du is write it down the limits change them in terms of the, the you know the u and then try to rewrite everything in terms of u so the cosine x as you can see conveniently cancels out and then we got to rewrite sine squared 2x in terms of u so we have to change it all in terms of sine x so first of all we use the double angle formula and then we replace the cosine squared x with 1 minus sine squared x okay and then we were able to continue okay in fact I, I kind of miss out a step here so this is the same as 1 0 and this is like 4 times sine squared x times 1 minus sine squared x with respect to u okay and then that that's a little step that i kind of jumped a little bit i suppose but yeah so cosine squared x is one minus sine squared x so you have u squared times one minus u squared with respect to u you have your limits and you can get your answer so there it is pretty simple looks a bit complicated in the beginning but it's not that difficult so that completes nine part b Okay, um, as I said, this was a separate video from part A because this is to do with integration um, by substitution. So I'm going to have um, a playlist over here which has all the other questions, including 9A, from this particular paper. A playlist here will be for integration from P3 and the playlist here will be from integration by substitution from P3 of Cambridge. And I'll also here have a playlist for integration by substitution in p4 of an excel which is a very similar kind of topic uh, questions you find in both um, specifications so i'll put that there so you can see more examples okay so that completes this particular question thank you for watching and see you soon